what like where where do they find these type of people at i ain't seen no shit like that since my good sis rosa parks and i'm catching feelings baby Welcome back to my channel. So, um, if you guys don't already know, my name is Belle, and we are back with another vlog. And today's vlog, well, this week's vlog, I'm bringing you guys with me this week so you guys can really just, you know, get me. Because I feel like y'all are not getting me. So, I'm taking you guys with me this week. Um, there's a lot going on. Um, for beginners, I quit my job. I quit my job. I quit my job. <laughs> no way. No way. I want to see the receipts. Yes, you heard right. <laughs> so I don't really want to get too deep into it because honestly, the amount of impact that it's positively had on like a new chapter, I guess I would say for myself, is it's beyond words that I can speak. Like, I feel like me giving you guys like almost like a testimony. Well, this is my testimony. So I feel like showing you guys that is going to allow me to express myself more and be more open with you guys and more transparent so i'm just gonna give you guys like a little take of what's like happened in the last couple months so as you guys know if you've seen my last vlog well my most earliest vlog i guess so like in august i had got a job as a microbiologist lab assistant um and i pretty much just randomly searched for this job because i was kind of like i guess getting anxiety because of the fact that I just graduated from college I graduated with my bachelor's in science and I just felt like I was useless like without school I was useless and that shit really took a toll on my mental um I was going through a lot but I'm I'm allowing myself to understand that stuff doesn't happen overnight and when you have patience with yourself good shit does happen to you you just have to be patient with yourself so um I was working at that job. I was working as a microbiologist um, and I hated it. I think you guys seen like even that whole week in the life that I did doing it. I hated it. It really wasn't a win situation for me. It was more so one I wanted to do something that at least had somewhat kind of background and what I graduated college for. I honestly feel like I stayed at the job because i wanted to get my feet wet like i wanted to see if this is something that i wanted to do you know like something to just let me see like what there is to offer so um during my time there i realized that i went to college for nothing <laughs> <laughs> um let me not let my mom hear me so yeah i just felt really defeated there um and then there was there was two scenarios that had happened between me and another caucasian lady at the job um she was very racist well <laughs> see ya um i feel like being that she had the upper hand she knew people at the job so it was like she kind of already got her foot in the door and figured out like which people to like get on her side kind of thing so um there was a lot of instances where she would just like i'm very quiet like i'm a really reserved person i'm extremely introvert and um i feel like people sometimes are intimidated by that i don't know why because it's like i'm i'm just literally like i'm in my zone i'm doing my own thing like i don't see nobody like outside of my little world but that's just how i am i've been that way growing up i've just always been that way so i feel like that really bothered her and we would just always like clash it wasn't more so of like arguing stuff but it would just be like she'd say something that would be offensive and you know i'd bring it up i'm gonna say it to you and it's gonna come out the wrong way then you're gonna twist my words and then, I, and then i'm gonna be sitting in the office talking about some can you please turn in your bed so yeah she had made um some really like racial comments um throughout my time being there it's like you know you're not bothering nobody but that one person like they see you just sitting there being quiet mind your business and they gotta make sure that they draw the attention to you and she had done it like intentionally and i was just like i let that shit go because i'm just like you know what it's whatever so then there was another circumstance which was literally the last straw for me which is why i 
put in my two weeks notice and which is what made me say like you know what this is done this job is affecting your mental health this is affecting your sanity like you're not happy here which I wasn't like minus her I was just not happy there so I was sitting down I was doing my work and she's friends with another supervisor who's also another Caucasian lady and I was sitting down doing my job she just started working the evening shift so we don't really see each other as much anymore but she had decided to come in early one day reminding you she had consistently been harassing me to pick up shifts for her and i told her i already told her a million times like i don't do i don't work outside of my work schedule i don't do that like i like i told you guys in the beginning i'm here for the experience i'm not here for the money i i never worked a weekend i literally only worked monday through friday it was like continuous like she would harass me like oh you you need to pick up some shifts for me like trying to tell me that i need to pick up shifts for her because i was the only one who literally never worked weekends i never picked up shifts for nobody like i never worked outside of my work schedule so she basically the day before because she works the evening shift you're supposed to make sure that you collect all the specimens receive them all in for the morning person she had purposely left everything the day before because she knew i was going to be working by myself the next day so she had purposely left everything for me to collect in the morning so when i tell you the next day i was sweating i was in that room receiving specimens collecting them reminding you there's still specimens during the day coming down so i was so far behind i didn't go on break i didn't go on lunch i didn't even go pee like i was literally in there sweating like i was just so heated and she knew exactly what she was doing because she decided to come in early she came in like two hours early so she comes in two hours early and where i was sitting is where she usually sits during the evening shift so you decided to come in two two hours early that's on you you can find another seat because i'm sitting there like i'm sitting there doing my job and your job from last night that you didn't do so pretty much she's friends with one of the supervisors she's gonna have the supervisor tell me to move to another seat so she could sit there. Hold on. Mm -hmm. What? Like where where do they find these type of people at? And when she had asked me, I was so frozen, so stuck on the fact that you as a supervisor fixed your mouth not even a supervisor i'm gonna call her lee because she don't got no authority over here. She don't got no authority. You're gonna have the audacity to ask me, another black woman to get up out of my seat so another Caucasian woman could sit there before her shift even started because she decided she wants to come in early and collect some coins doing nothing because that's what she was doing for the two hours that she was there early. She was literally sitting there doing nothing, fraternizing, not doing anything. So the way she had asked me was just so out of pocket, so out of line. I just could not believe that shit. And that right there was why I told myself I had to go. What would even possess you to ask me some shit like that? And it's Black History Month too? Absolutely not. That was the last straw. There was another circumstance after that, after I had put my two weeks notice in, where I overheard her joking around with somebody, calling one of the administrative directors mass. Reminding you, this is a group of Caucasian women. Like, I am the only black girl working in that section of the lab, the microbiology. So it's like, you're saying shit like this around me, thinking that I'm not gonna feel uncomfortable? Like, I just could not believe the bullshit. So I, I prayed. I prayed before I decided to put my two weeks in. I prayed after the situation had happened where she had asked me to get in my seat. Because when she had told me that shit, I was ready to say, you need to get security to come get me out of the seat. Oh, and by the way, guys, I did not get out of my seat. There's no way you're gonna sit here and ask me to get out of my seat. I, I think that is racial discrimination to a T because I ain't seen no shit like that since my good sis Rosa Parks. I was just so stuck on the fact that like, that really happened to me. It's like you hear about that stuff, but when it happened to you, it just hits so different. I told myself, I prayed, I said, God, you know, I know, I know you put me there for a purpose. I know if I leave, there'll be a purpose behind it. I have like zero patience in myself. I have patience in God. So I thought about it because it happened on a Friday. I gave myself the weekend. I prayed day in and day out and I put my tweaks in on Monday. That's when I feel like I feel like a rush of anxiety. I felt like 
damn like you're making a big decision but at the end of the day like I said I was not gaining anything from that job like nothing besides a reference on a resume I felt like lost because I hate not knowing my next move as you guys seen I took a lash class too um I still do plan on doing lashes but I need some sense of security like I know that they're is security in any job if you take it seriously and you put your mind to it and you're consistent but at the end of the day I need leverage I need security I need to know that I have options so yes lashes is definitely an option but there is a lot of investment in that so I was still in the process of building my lash business up I still am now because I was struggling with trying to find where the hell am I gonna lash people like do I have everything I need and I'm somebody who doubts myself consistently and it's like people start from the ground like literally be doing people on an air mattress and I am so scared of putting myself out there as not you know sophisticated and classful and you know I just always want to be a perfectionist and that's another thing I want to explain to you guys like I can't sit here and invest put everything I have on the line when I don't have guaranteed money and I told myself you know there's gonna be a plan you're gonna give me a plan god I know you are so I'm just gonna go with it I'm just gonna go with it and I'm just gonna have faith so I put in my two weeks I'm getting on my knees every night I'm like god like what is next move i'm trying to think of what the hell i'm gonna do so um not too long ago i had also applied for another job um this job was something that was more closer to actually what i've always wanted to do so i had applied for it a while ago and i never heard anything back so i just never really thought about it after like i it was going on a month and i didn't hear anything back so literally it's going on a week and a half before i'm leaving my job i have like four more days left <sighs> girl when i tell you god told me hold up hold up hold up the plan is ready it's ready it's ready it's complete here you go. So I'm at work today and I had missed a phone call. And I don't usually call numbers back because I already have my phone set up to like where if your number's not saved, it automatically silences the call. So I got a phone call on my break and I had missed it. So I called it back while I'm walking back into the lab, getting off of my break. And I'm like, hello? And they're like, oh, is this so-and-so? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, hi, we're calling about your file. We wanted to know if you would like a full-time position, 100% remote, period, $27 an hour. Can you start next week? When I tell you God don't play about me, he don't, okay? If there's any man that don't play about me, it's him. And I was just so shook. I had to leave the lab because I, my hands were shaking I couldn't even really talk to her properly because there was a bunch of people around me. And I'm like, me? Girl, all I'm going to say is if you don't have faith, you don't have nothing. You don't have nothing. That's all I'm going to say. That's my testimony. That's what I'm living by. If you don't have faith in God, you don't have nothing. And I mean that in the kindest way because I want all of my viewers to know that like you have to have a spiritual relationship with whoever, whatever you believe in, but you have to have some type of spiritual vibrance in you to be able to conquer this world because this world is crazy. That's just my little testimony I wanted to tell you guys. I'm extremely grateful that I'm in another position to be doing better to actually be doing something that I want to do and not be in a bad headspace because I feel like that job was making me so depressed. It was messing with my anxiety to a T. I'm on a, such a better place. So I just want to take you guys with me because this week we're leaving. We're packing our bags. We are out of there. And that's on um, period. Oh, and I have to get a new Invisalign. <clears throat> I have to get a new Invisalign because I lost them. And you know they don't jack the prices up to 275 how dare they? I hope that you guys enjoy this vlog. And uh, do not forget to make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Baby, we're out. It's a wrap. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
um i'm looking very crackheadish right now okay um i know it's been rough this past month has been rough um i've been having like just a lot going on so i've been going through that on top of that i didn't even tell ya i freaking lost my invisalign again so now i feel like mad self-conscious about my teeth again but that's like the least of my dilemmas so anyways um today i'm probably gonna bring you guys along with me i'm going to be lashing my friend she'll be my first client i guess um if you guys watched the last vlog you guys would know that i took a lash class in new york city if you didn't go watch it check it out so yeah i am going to be lashing her tonight um i'm looking so crackhead i'm putting a wig on tonight so don't even worry about it don't even worry your sweet heart about it because i look crazy and i know i feel like it's beneficial that i that i put you on to this stuff because it's beneficial to your health as a woman i feel like you should be taking vitamins every day regardless of what it is and i'm not talking about no flintstone vitamins i'm talking about some real vitamins okay aging is real um disease is real you know there's just a bunch of stuff that we need to protect ourselves so i'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that i got today from tarjay i got some hair skin and nail gummies with biotin and collagen um they're the nature bounties i had these before they're pretty good and i was watching a review on them before i decided to get them again and i think i'm gonna go back to it so i bought those then i bought these they're collagens but the only thing about this the serving size for this is six tablets and it says take six tablets per day all at once or divided doses who's taking six of these big pills six times a day so i'm kind of upset that i got these but i already opened it so then i got some perfect i got the ollie's perfect woman's multivitamins okay so you guys know i don't be getting my period so so i'm trying to see if vitamins will help bring it back so yeah that's all the vitamins that i got um and then i got this mouthwash which i absolutely love i tried this before i tried the blue one before and i actually really really liked it um it definitely helps with your breath um i seen it on tiktok at first and i didn't really believe it but that shit really helps with your breath i brushed my teeth and i ate and my breath was stinking <laughs> So I re-upped on that because I really like that stuff. It's super good. Um, and then um, and then I also wanted to show you guys. Um, I got some KKW because I actually smelled this in the store, the sampler. And it smelled so bomb. This is the KKW Heart Silver. The last thing I got was from Nordstrom Rack. So I wanted to wear a hat with my wig tonight because my wig isn't really all that cute either so you know if you put a little hat on something you know it's like a cute little accent i brought this hat at first originally but i could not figure out which one i wanted and you know because of covid they don't want you to try on shit so um i ended up getting two hats one's gonna definitely go back but this is the second one that i got but comment down below which one you think is cuter for a curly wig i'm gonna probably wear this one tonight now that i'm like looking at them in the camera but comment down below which one you guys think i should keep and which ones you guys think i should return because one's definitely going back so yeah i am about to um i'm kind of late this way chris are not gonna be able to see me Wow. Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. So. Okay, guys. So, it's change of plans. Um, I was just trying on this hat. So, change of plans. Um, we're not going nowhere tonight. Um, my friend canceled on me, but it's okay. So, yeah, tonight I'll be staying in. But I double stacked these lashes, and I actually kind of like how they look. How do you guys, what do you guys think? Eyebrows is on point, everything is on point, okay? But yeah, so I'm not going out anymore, but I wanted to show you guys the hat that I think I'm gonna end up keeping. I think I'm gonna end up keeping this one. I don't know, it's cute and it looks cute on my head and I don't know, I just like this one better. But so it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a Saturday in the crib. I think I'm gonna edit. So I think I'm gonna do that and eat because I'm starving.
you guys, I cannot stand myself because literally my... See, it's about to die. It's about to die. <laughs> it's about to die. It's about to die. I left my camera on all day on on. I can't. Okay, guys. So, I'm on my phone now. I don't know how much time I have here because my phone is always losing storage, as you guys know. So, I'm about to set up. Oh, my God. You guys can't even see shit. <gasps> So I'm about to set up my lash bed. Um, it finally came in the mail. I didn't think it was going to be this big. Um, but yeah, this is my lash bed that I ordered. Um, I ordered it from this site called Yateka, some shit like that. So we're going to do this lash bed and try and put this shit together. I don't know my curtains look like a motel curtain right now, but I'm not liking it. Yeah, so we are going to try and do this. I don't know where I'm going to put you guys. I'm going to have to figure something out because it's just a mess right now. So I'm going to figure it out, but we're going to put this shit together, okay? Okay. I'm trying to bust on, 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 I'm trying to bust on, 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 Okay, it's pretty long. Um, it does take up a lot of space, but I mean, you're not going nowhere. You literally come to get your lashes done, and that's it. Okay, I'm not going nowhere. So, I want to show you guys. I'm about to turn my camera down. I'm sorry, I can't even talk because I'm so excited. But I'm about to show you guys. Hold on, I look like a crackhead. Okay, so I'm about to show you guys how it looks. I'm about to turn my camera around and show you guys how it looks. Um, I'm about to have my brother lay on it because he's pretty tall. And I want to see what the weight capacity of it is. Because it says, what does it say? It says the weight capacity is... Hold on. I don't know what the weight capacity of this bitch is. So, I don't know what the weight capacity of this is, but I'm pretty sure it's, like, around 300. It should be because I paid almost 200 for it. I mean, I paid, like, $100. I'm, I'm dragging it. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to let my brother come lay on it and see if it'll, um hold him up. And I, I did some dumb ass shit. I don't know why my flash is on, but so you guys see how I was using this to open the box, right? So literally, I did this dumb shit, opening the shit. I, I just, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. But this is how big it is, guys. It does take up a lot of space in my room, but like I said, where are you going? You getting your lashes done. That's it. This ain't no tour. This ain't no museum. Ain't nothing special in here. So I'm gonna have my brother come in here and try this shit out and I will be right back. Slowly, because if you break it, I don't know what to do. okay we're in business people we are in business okay and he, he's he's a pretty big dude so i'm good to go thank you thomas what is this, what? my eyelashes i told you i'm doing eyelashes 
have to do it laying down. Yeah. Okay, guys, so it's a success. Okay, um, why am I looking like this, girl? My hair is falling out. That's a whole nother story. But, um, I'm super excited because it fits perfectly. It's just the right size. Um, the only thing that I could say right now is I'm super hot in here. I don't know if it's because of the lights or what. So, I might have to open my window when I start getting clients in here. Especially because of the humidity. But, um... We on the road, baby. We on the road. We on the motherfucking road. I am about to get rid of all my garbage, throw these boxes out, and then clear out. I'm trying to gonna find somewhere to put my bed because um baby it's not staying over here. Okay, it's not like I don't got no room for all that. As you guys can see, I already live in a box, a shoe box. So we gotta make the space efficient in here. So I am going to clean up um and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Good morning. So it's 11 o'clock. Um, I've been up for some time now, but I went to Target to go get some stuff. Well, not really stuff, but I brought some deodorant. This is new, I guess, with essential oils. It's called Coconut Oil Mandarin. And I want to try it out because the box looks cute and you know we look for an aesthetic. And then I got... And then I got um, a blanket for my lash bed. Literally now, all I need is a, um, uh, what do I need? I need a fitted sheet for the bed itself. And then I got this because I also brought this to wax my legs. But I heard that this is super good for like after waxes or even when you get out the shower. It just makes your skin super soft. And it has eucalyptus. And eucalyptus always makes your skin, um, you know, minty and fresh. This shit better still be in here. Before I went to the dollar store. But I bought some Carmex and then I brought a nail file to file my nails. Because I don't cut my nails, I file them down. And I wanted to show you guys these notebooks I got. I think that Marshall's on my way home. So I brought this. It's a guided self-care journal to help manifest the best version of you. I got it from Marshalls. And it's so cute. It has a to-do list, top priorities, daily gratitude. It's just so cute. And then it says like your mental and your physical health. Like I just love it. So I brought this. But you know we started a new journey. And then I got this notebook because... With my new job, I'm going to have to be writing a lot of notes and stuff and keeping track of stuff. So I brought another notebook just because, you know, to keep myself organized. But yeah, and it's so cute because it's marble and it says work it. And I only got this for $4.99. This one was $4.99 too, I think. Yeah, $4.99. So this is everything I got today. This is everything I got this morning. I got some deodorant coconut oil mandarin i got some dr teal's body oil some leg mask to shave my legs well to wax my legs whatever and a file and some carmex so yeah so that was what i got this morning i'm looking really swollen this morning i don't know why i think i i need to cut back on the salt i just i left early because i woke up early but i don't know what today's plan is guys I'm just like trying to figure everything out. I'm trying to set up my week for next week. I had a grilled cheese this morning, so I'm probably not going to eat for the rest of the day because I don't deserve to fucking eat. But I'll check back in with you when I start doing something more interesting. Hey guys, so I am at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, this place is like heaven to me. So I am looking for stuff for my lash bed. Um, I'm thinking to get some more of these small containers. I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, excuse my hair. Oh, so I'm thinking of getting more of these containers for my cart because the the ones that I have now they're like uh, what well, the bottom they're like really um they're like really too they're too big. So I think I should get these for like um my lashes. Yeah, I'm thinking I should just do that. I'm gonna get like two more. Um, so yeah, I'm at Bed Bath and Beyond, and this they got so much stuff here. I haven't been here in a while, but they have like so much cute shit here. I was gonna get another one of these for something else. I just can't remember what it was. I just can't remember what it was. 
but um i feel like it was for i don't know i don't know i don't know but yeah so i'm gonna try and find um that's what i'm trying to tell you guys well i think i got adhd because this shit don't make no sense how quick i'd be forgetting shit so i'm literally going to um try and look for uh um the um <laughs> wow i'm going to look for a bed um sheet for my lash bed damn why did it take so long for me to get out wow um hopefully i don't buy other shit that i don't need and i just get what i came here for but you know me being me i already know it's not possible and I'm definitely convinced that I want my last day to be tomorrow instead of, um, instead of, this is cute. I gotta stop buying water bottles because, I mean, I drink water, but I don't be drinking water like that for me to be having a water bottle. 